So we can now get it started. From here starts the speaking test. This is the speaking mock test of the International English Language Testing System taking place in Rosayos Academy. The candidate is Anis Handan. The candidate number is 01432511. The examiner is Mehnush Hafi, examiner number 443533. Good afternoon. My name is Mehnoor Shafi. Would you please tell me your full name? Yes, my name is Anis Khandani. What can I call you? Anis. Sure. Can I see your identification, yes, please? Of course. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Thank yes. you. We can now get started with the first part of the exam. In the first part, I will ask you some personal questions. First, I'd like to ask about leisure time. What is your favorite leisure activity? Uh, well, I don't have a specific leisure activity, but there are three activities that I like the most. Reading books, listening to music, and shopping. Um, I like shopping as much as listening to music, and uh, I love reading books because it takes you to another world. Uh, what did you enjoy doing in your free time as a child? Uh, well, uh, when I was a child, I spent my time um, going to English classes and exercising. Uh, I've been going to the gym since I was six years old, and I love exercising, but I'm not the only child. I have one uh, younger sister in summer. Um, I uh, read books and... Um, and do most people in your country get two days off a week? Yes, they do because uh, Fridays and Thursday in my country is off. Uh, are off, so um, yes, uh, maybe they stay home or maybe they go out if the weather is good. Now let's move on to talk about neighbors. Do you like your neighbors? Um, yes, I do. Fortunately, I have good neighbors. And are neighbors usually close to each other in your country? Um, yes, they are. Most Iranian uh, have a friendly and close relationship with their neighbors. They uh, they can support us emotionally. They can uh, help us or uh, take care of our house when we travel. Uh, how could your neighborhood be improved? Um, I think respecting uh, to neighbor rules can improve our neighborhood, like for example, avoid making loud noises, don't expect, uh, expect something from them, um, don't talk behind them, and mm -hmm. um, in general, maintaining a balance in our relationship. Okay, thank you. Now let's move on to talk about pets. Do you have a pet? No, I don't, but when I was a child, I had two uh, yellow and pink chicks. What is a popular pet to have in your country? Uh, as I said, dogs are the most popular pet in my country. Um, and I personally feel that because um, they, um, the, uh, the reason for this interest is um, dog loyalty. Why do people have pets? It's obvious that humans want to be social and be accepted by others uh, so um, I think the people have pets to um, to avoid loneliness and to have maybe one friend to watch walk maybe talk or listen to music with them okay thank you very much now we can move on to the second part of the exam so in the second part I'm going to give you a card with a topic and you should talk about it for two minutes. Before that, you have one minute to think about what you're going to say. And you can make some notes to help you if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. So here's the paper for you to make notes, the cue card, and a pen. Thank you. Here you go. You're welcome. So you should talk about an occasion when you lost something. Now you have one minute to think about this topic and your one minute starts now.
Okay, now your one minute is over. And you may talk about this topic for two minutes, but do not worry if I stop you. Okay. You can start talking now. Uh, generally, I'm a careful person, but I don't know why sometimes it happens that you lost something and you probably uh, can't uh, find that. Uh, I think it was last month that um, I've been training and um, uh, I, I was really exhausted and thirsty. I just um, got, uh, got dressed in hurry to uh, get some water and I put my sneakers there. And when I got back, uh, I didn't see my sneakers. It was a very bad feeling. I um, searched there very carefully, but I didn't find it. And I asked my, um, my friends and classmates. They didn't know. I just uh, went and told uh, the person in charge. And um, I couldn't do anything else. I just got home. Uh, after, I think, um, Three days, one of my friends uh, called me and told me that, uh, come here, I have an important news for you. And uh, I, uh, I just got there quickly. And um, I say, uh, I saw my friend and she says, Anis, guess what? And I said that, I have no idea, just tell me what happened. And uh, she gave me my sneakers. It was a very good feeling because those sneakers were a gift and uh, that, um, that day, uh, I thanked my friend, and uh, I was a really fortunate person that day. It was a very good feeling. Do you want to add more information? Um, losing, um, I mean, I mean uh, losing something is important, but losing somebody is more important than that, that. When I was a child, uh, one time I lost my mother, and it was terrible, and I always remember that. Okay, thank you very much. Now we can move on to the third part of the exam. Okay. So if you can just give me the yes, paper yes. and the pen back. There you are. Thank you. Very well. So, in the second part, uh, we've been talking about an occasion when you lost something. And now in part three, I want to ask you some questions related to this topic. Why do people always forget things? Mm. Well, I think it's, um, it's because uh, I, I'm completely sure it's about memory. Um, Maybe uh, modern technology uh, weaken human brains, and uh, people um, don't trust their memory uh, to remember things, and uh, they force themselves to um, use technology to uh, remember such simple things like I don't know birthdays or uh, phone numbers. Yeah. And what would you do if you lost something? Uh, well, it depends on what um, what I lost, but uh, if um, if it is important thing, I will inform the police. Uh, but I, if I lost something like, for example, pen, um, I will not do anything special. And uh, what is the best action to take if you find something? Mm, um, it's uh, as I, as I mentioned. Uh, if you find something valuable, uh, of course you have to go to police station. Um, but if you find something that is not really important, like a pen or paper, um, I, I think don't do anything special. Mm -hmm. uh, in our modern world, people tend to forget their culture. What are the reasons for that? Um, well, I think culture is everything. Culture is the way we, we talk, the way we eat, the way we dress. Um, so uh, humans uh, want to uh, experience numerous things. Maybe this is one of them. I mean, experience uh, living with, for example, an Indian culture or a Chinese culture. Uh, that is exciting. But in addition, uh, technology has a big effect on our lives, um, presumably TV programs um, 
attract us to another culture. Okay, yeah. great. And uh, in all civilizations, uh, movies and plays uh, about finding treasure or gold have always been popular. Why do you think it's been like that? It's been very popular for the people. Because I, uh, I think finding something that is valuable, it's enjoyable, um, especially when you were trying so hard uh, to find that and it actually uh, change, it will change your life, your personality, your goals and such books or movies uh, will motivate you um, to try hard as, uh, try as hard as you can uh, to um, make your own life and okay yeah. thank you very much now You're this welcome. is the end of the speaking test now you can just take a breath and relax and uh, I'll need a few minutes to add up your score and then I'll give you the feedback, okay? Thank you. Here about. Okay, now let's get it started with the feedback part. First, I want to talk about the first criteria in IELTS speaking, which is your fluency and coherence. Um, in your fluency and coherence, I can say that the good thing in your answers is that you are able to mm, develop the topic and give the answer to all the questions. Like in the first part, you gave me some shorter answers, but you provided explanations. In the second part, you covered the bullet points, and in part three, you gave longer answers. And as you had some pauses, some self-repetitions or self-correction, but it was all natural, and you didn't have many of those. And uh, the, another thing I should mention and another like a suggestion I have for you is to use more connectives if you can. Because you used uh, some um, simple ones like and, so, but, because, but other than those you used some good alternatives like in addition to that or however. Um, I believe that you have the potential to use more connectives. But uh, whatever you were using was very natural and uh, you had the flow of a speech in your speaking. Now, uh, because of all the things I mentioned, you got a seven in your fluency and coherence, and we can now move on to the next criteria, which is your lexical resource, your vocabulary. In your vocabulary, um, I can say this is one of your strong points because you were able to use some collocations and you had a very good paraphrasing. For example, uh, got home, I got home. Uh, I was fortunate. Um, a person in charge to have an effect, uh, to make a life or to talk behind somebody, maintain a balance. This is very good. You are using these words and um, some collocations and uh, some fillers and boosters or discourse markers regarding your fluency and coherence that you are using. Uh, maybe if you can use more idiomatic language, then you can boost your score. So you got a seven in your lexical resource, just like your fluency and coherence. Now to talk about your grammatical range and accuracy, the next criteria. Um, in your grammar, you were using a range of complex structures. And by that, I mean uh, subordinate clauses, conditional sentences, relative clauses, and uh, compound sentences. But again, if you use more connectives, you can even get, uh, you can even get the chance to use or to make more complex uh, sentences. Um, for example, a mistake that many candidates make in the second part is that they don't understand what tense they should use. Or, for example, they are given a cue card in the in, in past, but they use present tense to talk about it. Um, your problem in the second part was that as you were telling a story, you made some simple sentences, like simple, simple, sim simple, and you linked them with the word and. So you can still give a wider range to your structure. But generally speaking, in the three parts, you were able to use these complex structures. You just made a few errors um, with singular and plural, like you said, most Iranian, which is most Iranians, or last month that I've been training, but you should have said last month that I was training, or last month I, for example, trained. So something about past, it's not, it has nothing to do with present, that you use present perfect, or when I was child, which is when I was a child. So uh, it's mo mostly with, uh, like the problems, the minor mistakes that you made with the grammar, but uh, you deserve a seven in your grammatical range and accuracy as well. 
Finally, to talk about your pronunciation,、um, your pace of the speech is really good, and it's very, it's totally clear to understand.、Uh, you just made a few mistakes with、uh, the pronunciation of the words. For example, close, you pronounce it close, and motivate. And、uh, one last point regarding your pronunciation is the word cause. In our daily speaking, we can say it like that. I was happy because. Uh, I was hanging with my friends, but in IELTS speaking, you should make sure to fully pronounce the words. You should say because. So, because of all the things I mentioned, you got another seven in your pronunciation.、Um, I just recommend you to listen to more English podcasts, movies, and、uh, because it can help you with your intonation. At times, in some sentences, you sounded a bit flat. You can still have a better intonation regarding your word stress or sentence stress. But generally,、um, your score in your pronunciation is a seven. Now to wrap up,、uh, your overall band score would be a seven in today's speaking mock test. But if you have any questions or doubts, you can ask me your questions.、Oh, thank you. It was great. Wonderful. So I wish you best of luck and、uh, have a pleasant rest of the day. Do you want to know what band score you'll get in the IELTS speaking test? Perhaps you want to improve your performance and prepare yourself for the real test. Then why not book an online mock test with us that will last for 25 minutes, 12 minutes of the test itself, and 13 minutes of comprehensive feedback. Plus, we'll give you useful tips on how to make your performance better. Remember, all our examiners are especially trained by British Council instructors, so we know how to help you. Join us.